Many thanks to Jerb, DZ Podcast, Taggy's Tag West, Pandemonium, and Lion Lost for making this video possible. DZ has just upped the game and introduced super freaking traps. Traps are so deadly that they kill entire rooms of players instantly, destroy cars, blow up players, trigger buried underground explosives using tripwires, or even leave you waking up in a cloud of poisonous gas, wishing for death. If you believe that traps in DZ were brutal before, you are not ready for this video. There are three types of trap that I'm calling super traps that were added in DayZ 1.18. The Claymore Mine, the Plastic Explosive, and the IED, otherwise known as the Improvised Explosive Device. This IED allows any two explosives to be attached to it in DayZ, so the Flashbang, M8 Smoke, the Russian Grenade, the EGD Smoke Grenade, the M7 Grenade, the American version, the new Pox Grenade, the new Plastic Explosive, any of the new grenade rounds used by the grenade launcher, and finally the landmine. Now while the claymore mine does attach to it, the claymore mine kit this is, it just poops it out and it doesn't cause it to explode for some reason. The possible combinations you can have from these nine into these two slots is a huge 81 different combinations, allowing you to have some very fun trap setups, which I'll go into later in this video. The plastic explosive can be triggered using two methods, by remote detonation using the detonator unit or by tripwire. The claymore mine can be triggered in three different ways, remote detonation, by ruining it or by tripwire. And for the third super trap, the improvised explosive can be triggered in four different ways, remote detonation, setting the alarm on the alarm clock and attaching it to the IED, twisting the kitchen timer and attaching it, and finally by tripwire. Shooting an IED won't trigger it to explode and will disarm it much like the plastic explosive. Additionally, ruining the trigger disarms any device it can detonate. The detonator can only be attached to these three if you have a detonator unit which has two parts to it, the receiver and the trigger. So when using a detonator unit on the three super trap types, it will attach the receiver part to it on all three occasions, leaving you with a trigger in your hand after you finish the action. This trigger is then unique to the receiver that you've attached to the explosives, so you cannot attach the same trigger to many different explosives in DayZ to detonate them all at once, one trigger to one explosive. This detonator trigger only works up to a lowly 50 meters, so beyond 50 meters you no longer get the option to detonate it, however when you go within 50 meters again, you still have the option to detonate it, so it doesn't lose connection. Now we did try combining it with the two radio types in game to try and increase the signal, because I believe 50 meters is a bit low. My TV remote probably works at greater distances than 50 meters, let me know what you guys think in the comments. The tripwire trap already has some incredibly deadly and fun combinations in DayZ, as seen in my top 10 traps video which many of you enjoyed it appears, but when used in conjunction with these free super explosives, that video will probably be put in YouTube's kids category. Now in order to trigger these free explosives using the tripwire, you must first use the detonator unit on the explosive to get the trigger into your hands, then simply set up a tripwire wherever you believe is the most effective place to put it, and then you just simply attach the trigger to it. Once the tripwire gets triggered, the corresponding receiver will activate and then trigger that explosive. Now I don't know if this is a bug, but the tripwire trap will detonate an explosive anywhere on the map. There isn't a 50 meter radius limit like using the trigger. This means that if someone is on the other side of the map, as you can see here in this part of the video, it can trigger the explosive in Berezino. These are very great distances, and this works with plastic explosives, claymore mines, and the improvised explosive too. The plastic explosive can kill players up to 17 meters away, so placing it within 17 meters of a tripwire trap means instant death for anybody that triggers your tripwire. The claymore mine is up to 25 meters, but only in a 90 degree cone in front of the claymore mine, which means that players can be killed as far away as the length of the long barracks building. This claymore tripwire trap is going to kill so many players for this reason, but also because it blends straight into grass. You can't see this thing. However, the deadliest of the deadliest, deadliest trap in DayZ goes to the Tripwire IED trap because of the 81 possible combinations that come with it and how at first glance it just looks like an unsuspecting protector case until you realise it very much is not. The IED or improvised explosive has instantly become my favourite toy in DayZ and based on what I'm about to show you, I'm sure you're about to fall in love with it too. First of all, the protector case used to craft the improvised explosive is found most commonly inside industrial buildings, which is also where the electronic repair kit is found, and by combining these two together you get the improvised explosive device. The detonator unit you can combine with the IED is also found in industrial locations too, but be aware that using it just once to trigger the IED will 
result in the receiver you attach to the IED to become ruined, even if you only trigger a smoke grenade. If you are using a non-explosive like a gas grenade or a smoke grenade, you can reuse the IED as it remains in pristine condition and so does a trigger, but if you use a grenade or other explosive, it will ruin the IED and you'll need to craft a new one. If you are going to use the destructive explosives, I wouldn't recommend using the IED to raid bases with as some of the explosive damage gets absorbed by the protector case I'm assuming because for example two plastic explosives inside this IED doesn't destroy a wooden wall yet using one plastic explosive outside the IED does. For this reason I can see the IED mostly being used only against players but because of the possible combinations you can have with it that's probably the best way to use it. With your desired explosives attached, you cannot drag the IED around once it's activated, as attaching the alarm clock, kitchen timer, or detonator to it has to be done on the floor and fixes it to the floor as a result. However, if you double tap the IED that's activated and has explosives inside it, you can force it into your inventory where you can drag it around inside your inventory, which may just be a bug because you cannot place it in your hands. So again, this may just be a bug. This means that yes, you can do the overused Middle Eastern meme into a squad of players, or if you like to put pressure on yourself, why not put a time limit on your current playthrough? Due to being able to drag the IED into inventory slots, you can also place it into other players' inventory slots and then detonate it, of course, or inside the inventory of cars to kill players inside, and this car still works afterwards, which is a bonus. You can also place the IED inside a container that you can bury, and it will work like a buried freaking landmine because you can then place a tripwire trap on top of it, attach the trigger to it, and it will explode when somebody triggers that trap. Buried landmines confirmed, but be aware that you cannot bury the IED directly as it is no longer a protector case, I guess. IEDs are very awesome, but we've only discussed half of why they are awesome because out of the 81 possible combinations, you can get really creative with the IED. For example, combining the landmine with a smoke grenade and placing it inside somebody's inventory will KO them for 50 seconds from the landmine exploding and then the smoke will highlight where they are so you can have prisoners with tags on them basically. Or how about a flashbang combined with a gas grenade landing a player as they enter a room that a gas grenade just exploded in two, running around in toxic gas, choking, blinded. And this method also means that you can reuse the IED as no destructive explosives were used. My personal favourite though goes to the landmine with the gas grenade or gas ammo type for the grenade launcher. It will KO somebody for 50 seconds and the chemical will explode too and it will give them a gas poisoning disease guaranteed, leaving them wishing for death with the stats that they will wake up to. One for the base builders out there is a perimeter alarm on any flanks that your base has. If somebody triggers it, the smoke grenade inside the IED will go off silently inside your base to alert you of a breach or you can take the IED with you in your inventory and then it will start smoking if somebody enters your base. You can also combo the IED with the fireworks launcher to distract enemies or infected to certain positions and then allow them to witness the explosive finale. And finally, the IED fits perfectly inside the inventory of a dead infected, so you can use them as an inconspicuous detonation platform to launch assaults from. I'm sure the DAISY community will come up with many more combinations to these super traps as the new explosives and other devices in this patch have opened up a world of possibilities now. The other new explosives in DAISY can be seen here in this video where I blow up a whole bunch of bases and other cool stuff in that video if you want to learn about the explosives or you can view all of the most important changes in this patch here. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and learned something new. There's a lot of exciting stuff in this video so I want to get it out there to as many people as possible. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.